since this was the all-star game there ain't too much i could break down but i'm gonna still drop some gems for y'all but i also got some clips i just wanted to show throughout the game like this one that's kind of crazy and just like what the hell because you just full-on double dribbled and i know it's just the all-star game you ain't playing for real refs not really looking but i could guarantee you they're still gonna miss this in the regular season i promise you because the rest be blind as hell like that's a whole two-hand pickup and they just did a crossover at the two-hand pickup like come on now but I'm not going to try this the next time in the gym because, God damn, what the hell? I ain't going <laughs> But if anybody make this pass on target, they got it, bro. They got it. They got it. I tried to make this shot one time. I was recording a video, video a while back. Just know it wasn't too pretty. I had to switch it up. I had to switch it up, bro. I don't even think Jokic can make that. Hold on. Listen, listen, listen. The earpiece and the microphone. Luca, how are Pete. you, sir? Thank you for doing this for us. We... Yeah, he don't want to put that mic on, bro. Judging by that, of course. Yeah, he don't want to put that mic on, bro. He was paid. Somebody paid him to put that mic on, bro. You know he don't want to put it on, bro. Look at his face. Look at his face. Yeah, he about to slap somebody upside the head, whoever told him to put it on, bro. Probably was in his contract. He got finesse, bro. Got his ass finesse. It is what it is, though. Hey, Braun played too much for this, bro. SGA thought he was going to have his first bucket of the game easy. He thought he was gonna have his first All Star bucket easy. Nah, bro, you got equal dollar. Blocked by James, and now right here, that's where I'm about to start dropping some gems. Peep game, Tatum sidestep. Tatum sidestep is probably one of the best sidestep step backs in the NBA, and I think he's like 40% plus over on his career. If you're interested in it and how he does, you probably see some breakdown videos. But personally, when I try to do this move, as I try to learn it before, like after I stop playing, just to learn. Learn new moves, add things to my bag. The most important part is your base. And Tatum's base is perfect. Every single time he gets into his gets into his side steps and his step backs, he doesn't drop his base and his base stays loaded. On the setup and then even on, on the step back. He doesn't get up out of his base. And I want you to notice these three things. Notice his hip hinge, his knee hinge, and then how his feet are loaded. Heels off the ground. Peep all those three things. As he gets before he even does it. Loaded, he gets into it, loaded, and now boom, he gets into a shot. And now what that allows you to do is to be balanced as you get up into your shot because you're more balanced when you're loaded, when you have those hinges. But if you're vertical straight up and they try to take that step back with their body too vertical, then you have to drop back down to get back up, that rhythm's just bad. Or if you're low, then you step back and you get up. And then as you're before, into your shot, you don't have a hinge. You don't have any rhythm to get up into your shot. So it's just going to be, it's just li those little things. And as you begin to do that, your step back's going to feel a lot better. And I feel like that's the most important key of it. Now this one-on-one, -on -one, JB, JT. And by the way, make sure you subscribe, like, and turn on notifications because we're dropping breakdowns daily. And these breakdowns come alive very soon. So go hit that link in the description. Go follow. And by the way, Discord dropping very soon. Be on the lookout for that. And let's get right back to it. Matchup. That's the only kind of sort of real basketball we saw all night. Mm. Now, I know what we all seen. We just seen a bunch of tweens behind the back, some crossovers. But what I saw, peep those little stutters, those little twitches that he does with his back foot, that he does with his body, his shoulders. His, it's a whole body movement as he's moving with the ball. Let, let me slow it down too. Notice. Notice his back foot. Trigger. Twitch again, the ball goes right, twitch with the left. Ball goes left, twitch with the right foot, shoulder switch. Boom, twin again. And now he gets into a sidestep. Now, why is that so important? Because as the defender, you're seeing all these twitches, all these angle shifts and whatnot. And so now you're kind of thinking like, okay, he could go off of any one of these moves. So now as a ball handler though, you're kind of trying to make them flinch trying to keep him guessing, make him unsure of where you're going to go. And then as you do get into that move, boom, you're gone. And it could cause the defender to overreact. Then like Jalen Brown did here, boom, sidestep gets into space. Tatum's already out of there. Now I know it's not 100% defense, but it still works in games. You can see it every single game that great scores like Tatum, Jalen Brown, Luka, all these guys do each and every single night. Let's just watch it one more time. Note his shoulders. The ball's moving. Other, the opposite foot twitching. Shoulders dipping, all those little those little details. And I'm going to continue to show more examples throughout time. And now this one. Tatum got to get his get back. He had Jalen Brown out of there, bro. And you know damn well ain't no help going to come over. Tatum would have his bucket. But this is the key, though. 
Notice the only reason the ball went out of his hands is because his crossover was so low that his other hand wasn't ready for it. And Pete, this too. Jalen Brown tried to make a reach on it, tried to put his hand low, get in that path of the ball. But the crossover is so low, he couldn't reach it. And it was so low that Tatum lost it out his other hand. Because Pete right there. Boom. Right there, then his left hand missed it because that's how low it was. But that's the key, though. You got to always make sure you have that tight crossover. Usually Tatum got these on lock, but we mess up every now and then. It comes with being great. So if you want to have a great crossover, the key is to be to having that crossover low because if it's not low enough, it could be the difference between you having that highlight play crossing somebody over or you making that crossover and getting ripped and looking goofy because you're going the whole other way. Defender got the ball, boom, fast break. So it's little things that matter. And now Jalen Brown coming right back. And this is for fracturing his face right here. <laughs> this is for breaking his face right there. Same thing with the twitches. And peep the same thing with this base too, just like Tatum. All these players are so great with their step backs because they don't leave their base. They break down with the base. They step back into their base. They go up to their shot with the same base. So now they have just only upward, upward motion. Because now the, the thing about that is that the less motion you have, the less room for error. It's, a, it's as simple as that. Peep his base. Peep it. Same level. Just steps back, gets balanced, knocks it down, and now it almost feels like it's just a regular shot off the catch. Tatum coming right back, man. And I can even say Tatum's twitches are probably even better than Jalen Brown's. Because Tatum's, he's not super like, He's not super like shifty like a Darius Garland, gonna hit some crazy angles, go super fast. He's just gonna make keep you guessing, and he's gonna hit you with a move that's gonna make you think he's doing something, but you guess wrong, and then boom, he's gone. Just like he did on this crossover and right here off with this cross step. Peep it. Back foot, boom, drops it again, snatch right back. And it's not even like it's no, he covered crazy distance. It's just that his moves are so stuttery, so twitchy, so flinchy, that as a defender, you're gonna think he's going, but he's really not. He just fools you. Jalen Brown gets it right back, man. NBA needs a one-on-one -on -one tournament, bro. NBA needs a one-on-one -on -one tournament. I'm going to talk about that in a second. But Tatum got the, la the last laugh right here. Tatum got the last laugh. But the thing with Jalen Brown, I don't get on this. I see a lot of players do this, but I know they're not playing for real. Also, I know they're not playing for real. Come on. I know they're not playing for real. But he goes with four seconds left. And the thing is, when you, when you, wanna, when you see the clock winding down, you're about to go attack, just think you have... Each second you can do one thing, so you could dribble. Each dribble takes about one second. A shot attempt takes about one second. So think about how you, what range of the seconds you want to see it and go attack. So you don't run in situations like this where you end up running out of time. Cause boom, you got four seconds. He does like about six dribbles, and boom, is not even able to get a shot off. So you got to make sure you get straight to it. And I was gonna say one on one tournament and NBA. Please have a one on one tournament, and it doesn't even have to be the the. 30 all-stars that make the team or no not even the 30 the 24 all-stars that make the team it don't got to be them either because it could be those guys who missed out and whatnot and also have a cash prize incentive because if you do that players really gonna hoop because who don't like winning who don't like winning money all those guys can use an extra mil in their pocket extra five hundred thousand in their pocket and on top of that throwing some money in there give it a charity whatever whoever they want Come on, man. They make it, make it happen because, you know, regardless, at the end of the day, I guarantee you there's some, like, six men in the NBA or players off the bench who is nice at running the ones. It's not about playing 5 5 but if you got them running the ones for some bread, that's some real that's some real ratings right there. If you really want to make some money, that right there. Get those guys who maybe missed out on the All-Star game, the top scorers that are kind of left out. Put them all in, the, in, in a one-on-one -on -one tournament, have some fan voting and whatnot, and then boom. Make it happen. You make money. Fans are satisfied. Something new to watch. Something the fans would love to see. And so hopefully the NBA gets that done. And then boom, once again, take a sidestep. His sidestep once again. Peep the base. I, I said this already. I already broke it down, but just peep the base. He don't leave the base. Same base. He sidesteps. He gets his balance. Cuts he's loaded. Boom, knocks it down. But hey, man, that's my breakdown for the All-Star Game. So make sure you subscribe, like, turn on those notifications. Make sure you also go hit that link in the description. Live streams coming soon. And Discord also dropping very soon. Be on the lookout for that. And we out of here.